In a world of online learning, why would you need blended learning? Well, today we're gonna talk about what exactly blended learning is, and then we're gonna break down the positives of the two components, which is part of it's online and part of it is face-to-face. -face. So we're gonna talk about the best of both worlds, the best of online learning and the best of face-to-face -face learning and how blended learning brings that together. Welcome to the eLearning Simplified YouTube channel. My name is Johnny Havey. I am one of the co-founders of eLearning Partners, the organization responsible for this channel. We built this channel for you because we wanted to simplify e-learning for you so that you could focus on your learners, which is the most important part of e-learning. The less time you have to spend trying to figure out the ins and the outs of e-learning, the more time you have to spend providing value for your learners, which in turn makes your company money and saves your company money. So let's dive in. What is blended learning? It's pretty simple. It is the combination of online and face-to-face -face learning. It is also known as hybrid learning. If you've heard of hybrid learning before, it is the same thing as blended learning. You can use these terms interchangeably. So why would one want to combine online and face-to-face? -face? Well, the cool thing about blended learning is you get all the positives of online and all the positives of face-to-face, -face, and you can actually avoid the drawbacks. So let's start with online. What are the big positives to online learning? Well, the first one is online learning or e-learning can save you money and time. How it saves you money is because of time. <laughs> Think about it this way. You could have your trainers at your company training new employees all the time. You can have your HR departments having to go through all the onboarding activities and processes themselves, or you can capture all of that and put it into an online learning or e-learning program and have your new hires go through it on demand. You could also, let's say you have a new salesperson at your organization and you need to teach them everything they need to know to be a salesperson, all the strategies, all the processes. Why not take all of that knowledge, put it into an e-learning program so that you don't have to waste the time of your VPs of sales, your directors of sales, your managers of sales, your senior sales personnel, so that they can focus on selling and your e-learning program can focus on training. So that is really the biggest pro of online learning. On the flip side, if you're building an e-learning program to sell or an online course to sell, an online learning course allows you to sell as many copies as possible. Keep in mind, if you're selling training as a service and it's face-to-face -face training you're selling as a service, you are limited to the amount of hours that your trainers have to spend to perform the training. But when you have online learning, you're able to actually make a lot more money and save time while doing it because you don't have to hire a bunch of people to do the training. You just build the program once and people can access it and you can have as many copies as possible. It's kind of like Bitcoin versus Dogecoin. Dogecoin unlimited copies, Bitcoin limited copies. And this brings us to the second pro of online learning which is no downtime. So what does this mean? This means that if you have a program that is 100% face-to-face learning or training, you're dependent on when your trainers are available. You're dependent on when your trainers are actually working, right? So if a employee is on a job site like a construction site, and they're there at two in the morning, and the trainer or the subject matter expert that they have to ask a question about the construction process that they're working on is sleeping, then you're kind of screwed. But no downtime with online learning means that that construction professional could pull out their phone, access the online learning program, 
probably using a software like Talent Cards, and get the answer even when the subject matter experts are sleeping. So no downtime. Also, let's say that a trainer or an HR rep or a VP, whoever is responsible for training, gets sick or goes on vacation. Same thing. Instead of bothering them while they're on vacation or instead of stopping the forward progress of that this training challenge is causing, they can easily access the answers online. On the flip side, if you are selling a course, the training is always available for your learners. It is extremely high value for your learners to be able to access what you've sold them at any time versus having to call and have your subject matter experts and your trainers your educators have to tell them the answer or train them on whatever they purchased. So that is the second benefit that you get from embracing blended learning. And the third one you get on the online learning side of blended learning is on-the-go training. See, we've kind of already talked about these as we've gone through the first two points, but on-the-go training basically means, we'll go back to that construction professional. Let's say you're walking through a building, maybe you're a controls, a building controls professional. You're going through a building, looking at the, con the control systems of that building, and you have a question, and your supervisor or your trainer who would know the answer isn't available. You can literally open up the online learning program, on your phone or on your tablet and get the answer on the go. Much easier than having to make five phone calls to figure out the answer or tell the client, hey, I found a couple of things, but I'm gonna have to confirm them, I'll get back to you in a week. No, instead you can on the go in the moment, get what you need. And then same thing if you're trying to sell your course or training, your learners can access it anywhere. They don't have to set up a call with you. They don't have to set up a meeting in person with you to get the knowledge that they're paying you for. So that's what you get on the online learning side for blended learning. Now there's plenty of cons of online learning. And the cool thing about blended learning is we're going to pick up some of those cons in the pros column of face to face. One of those biggest cons that you'll have to watch another video of ours, which talks about what the future of e-learning should be, like how you can improve e-learning in the future. Well, really e-learning needs a better human to human aspect. But guess what? In blended learning, you get that because you get that face-to-face -face training as well. So here's an example. We have a client named Mapco. They're in the manufacturing industry. And they have some really technical processes that only one or two individuals in different departments understand. And those processes, while you could put them all in an e-learning program, it could take years to do so because it's just so technical. So obviously the best plan here is to slowly take those processes and move them to online learning. Because over time, you're going to have your new employees and your employees who are training for these different job roles are going to be able to go to the online learning to get their questions answered. And then anything that isn't there, they can have that human to human component. But really, there's some really technical stuff that you kind of need a human to help you with. Okay, so that is a pro of face to face. Another reason why human to human is so important is because if you're trying to sell a course to someone, and they've never met you before, how are they supposed to want to buy from you? Now there's ways to do it in an online sense and you have to watch other videos on how we create a human to human interaction with our learners. But the easiest way to create a human to human interaction is to have a human interact with another human in person, so face to face. So this really helps with training. And there's just certain things in certain industries that are either so technical or you just need another human present to learn them that e-learning isn't there yet. E-learning's trying to get there with VR and AR, and someday it will be there. But this is one of the main pros of face-to-face. -face. So along with that, the cool thing about combining these two is you can have your learner go into your e-learning program, 
learn what they can from there, and then ask your trainers questions face to face to get any answers that the e-learning may be lacking. So you can answer questions easily, which is pretty cool. And that's why blended learning is so powerful. If you have the ability to do this in your organization, this is ideal because this also takes the pressure off for you to take your entire training program, all your processes and all your departments and bring them online right away. It's not gonna happen. So the better approach is to slowly move it online and then you're slowly gonna decrease the amount of face-to-face -face interaction that your company needs, even though you may never fully get away from it. But think about it this way, what if 100% of your training right now is in-person or face-to-face and within five years, 75% of your training is online and you have 25% face-to-face. That's a big number, even if you had half within five years, or if you have more aggressive goals, completely okay as well. But the best way to go from a face-to-face -face learning program to an e-learning program is through blended learning. And as you can see, there are so many benefits of blending it as well. The answering the questions easily is great for you for feedback because every time questions are asked over and over, you know what you can do? You're gonna create an e-learning module. You're gonna be like, okay, these questions are consistently asked, so I guess it's time to create an e-learning module to address these questions. So another point, I'm not gonna write it over here because it really is circumstantial. Face-to-face, -face, as we said with this human-to-human -human component, is very good for teaching very technical processes. But the reality is e-learning can do that as well depending on what the technical process is. We actually have a few videos on our channel that talk about how you can capture technical processes, computer-based processes easily without having to spend very much money. Really, your only investment is gonna be the time of your team to record these and upload them into your e-learning system. You can also do show and tell content, which allows you to capture technical processes and upload that to your e-learning technology as well. But the easiest way to show technical learning is human to human, but it's not the only way and really, those processes, depending on what they are, can be expressed in e-learning very well. So to recap, we discussed what is blended learning and what is hybrid learning. They are the same thing. Blended learning is the combination of online and face-to-face. -face. Why do we like blended learning? We like it because it takes the pros of online and the pros of face-to-face, -face, puts them together. Why didn't we talk about the cons? Well, because where you have a con, you have a pro on the other side of the spectrum for learning. And wh what did we recommend? Well, if you are planning on moving your training online, don't do it in one false swoop, do it through blended learning. And if you have a blended learning program for the next decade at your company, or two decades at your company, I mean, you can already see how beneficial having a blended learning program is. So if you started at zero, and 100%, right, 100% face-to-face and 0% online, and in five years, you're 50-50, that's progress, that's amazing progress. And then let's say in 10 years, you're 75-25, and eventually you may get it to be 100 and zero, but it's okay if you don't, because there's a lot of benefits of having at least some face-to-face -face component. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to create a highly effective e-learning program or online course, we have a free masterclass for you. It's linked right below this video in the description. You will get instant access to the masterclass. And in the masterclass, we go through how to capitalize on solving your learner's biggest challenges and building your e-learning program with that as the basis. And then we're gonna give you a step-by-step -step process of how to do that so that if you've never built out an e-learning program or online course before, you're gonna know exactly what to do 
and we're gonna guide you every step of the way. If you have built out e-learning programs before, that's fine, you're gonna learn a lot from it. And we guarantee with our masterclass that you are going to launch a successful e-learning program or online course every time because you're gonna focus on your learners and solving their biggest challenges. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you know when our content's coming out and we'll see you in the next video.